What's up everyone? All right, well, here we are Monday morning and I'm walking up another green day, which is great, but I'm gonna be honest, I got super frustrated and was like short fuse. I was like, I'm done after my first loss today. I woke up, I went to bed with a headache and I woke up with a headache and I just felt like I had no patience this morning. I had a sh super short fuse and I was just like, ugh. We're, un, un, the gap scanner is terrible. OLB was the only one that gave like any opportunity. And it's not my favorite because it's low priced. It was kind of a grinder, but it reminded me of drug. So I traded it and I did pretty well on it. Uh, it went up 40% I, and that was my biggest winner. And I probably should have just called it a day there because I was just feeling like not 100% today. But uh, anyways, we had a couple dead cat bounces on some of these recent IPOs. I took one, first trade on it, lost 29 bucks. Went back in, or 33, whatever. Went back in for the second trade, lost 700, and got stubborn on it. It started to drop, I averaged down. I was like, no, this thing's, you know, just, anyways. So I'll break it down in the recap, but today was one of those days where I didn't feel like I was coming in at 100%. I mean, it's just the, the luck of the draw. It's just the way it sometimes is. You know, nothing, I mean, you know, not a lot you can really do when that's the case. It's just gonna happen. It's bound to happen at some point. Most important is recognizing it because when you've got that headache and you sort of feel it behind your eyes and you're just staring at the level two in time and sales and you're just like not feeling it, that's not the time to push it. You know, that's just not the time. And then when you recognize, wow, I have a short fuse, I'm getting frustrated like really easily, that again is just like, okay, you know what? Take the cue and learn to walk away. That's, that's one of the big things I think that seasoned traders get good at is learning, a sen developing a sense of self-awareness that when you f feel those, when you feel those, w those feelings, you have those moments or whatever it is that you're able to recognize this right here, right now is the time to leave. Because so many traders, they'll feel that way and they'll keep trading. They'll dig themselves a huge hole and they'll just be like, have a terrible day. They're super frustrated. They woke up on the wrong side of the bed. They didn't feel great. Then they proceed to lose money, got themselves even more frustrated. And it's like, you know, okay, where, and when I've had days like that, what I do is I'm like, I ask myself, where in that day should I have stopped? What, what was the red flag? You know, what was the, the fork in the road where I made the wrong choice? And I can usually tie it back to like, okay, it was right there. And having done that enough times, I've gotten a lot better. I'm not perfect at it, but I've gotten a lot better at being able to say, okay, this is the spot today where it's time to walk. And usually when I trust my gut and I do that, it's the right move. Sometimes I'll do that and I'll end up leaving a ton of money on the table because you know, five minutes later, something makes a big breakout. But honestly, if I wasn't on my A game, I, I wouldn't, there's no guarantee I would have even made money on that big breakout. And so yeah, I really shouldn't even get FOMO for missing it. I, I'm grateful today to lock up another green day. We've got two days left in the month of August and then, you know, summer's over, September's starting up and statistically, Q4 is where I do the best. So going into September and then really October, November, December. So that means you've got kind of a, about a month to get yourself ready for Q4, the month of September. And I encourage you to get yourself ready because you know, seasonally, typically, it's that fourth quarter where we see a lot of opportunity. And that doesn't mean that's when you wanna start trading. Because when you first start, you should be either in a simulator or trading with small size. So it's better to get your practice and get your experience in now, August, September. So when we get that hot, you know, the next hot streak, whether it's October, November, whatever it is, hopefully you'll be better positioned to actually participate in it. All right, so I hope this is helpful. I hope you guys enjoy the recap. As always, thank you for hitting the thumbs up and being subscribed to the channel. Reminder, as always, my results are not typical. My experience trading has not been typical and there is no guarantee you'll find success as a trader, whether you trade on your own or you learn from me. So really take it slow, but I'll see you back here first thing tomorrow morning for the morning show. And we've got another episode of a podcast coming out this week. So I hope you've checked out the podcast, but I'll put a link in the description for it if you haven't already. Okay, thanks so much and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the recap. What's up everyone? All right, well, I got a little annoyed today, so I shut everything down. Uh, so I'm gonna open it back up just so I can do my uh, recap for you. 
one of the things for me that feels super important is when I'm just not feeling it, just to stop right there. And I woke up this morning with a little bit of a headache. Oh, actually, I went to bed with a headache. I took some ibuprofen and in the middle of the night, I was just like, ah, don't feel great. So I woke up this morning, you know, whatever. I mean, I, I sat down, I traded, but I felt like, you know, as soon as I started to get into a trade that wasn't working, I just was like, you know what, I'm done. Like, I just felt like I had a really short fuse today. And you know what? Some days it's like that for whatever reason. I, You know, it's just the luck of the draw. But so today, the first trades that I took were on um, OLB. And, you know, I did fairly well on it. Um, got green on OLB. Started uh, this morning, and I'll, I'll pull up my... Um, my trading account for you as well, so you can see that. I uh, started this morning with a, a long trade on the breakthrough uh, 220. So bought for the breakthrough 220. We got this squeeze up to 233, 236, pulled back, popped up, and I got another trade at the open, high of 250. That was sort of my first target. I was hoping a break at 250 and a squeeze up to 255, but uh, at the open, it just sold off hard. And so whatever, um, I'm not super shocked. I was hoping it would go higher, but this doesn't totally surprise me either. So got got out 2,600 bucks from it, halfway to the daily goal. And then, um, you know, I was sort of watching STBX. I was watching Jay-Z, these dead cat bounces. And STBX, I took my first trade on it um, right about here for the breakout i got in at 714 goes up to 723 a 50,000 share share seller pops up i bailed for a 30 dollars loss it comes back up again and i was like okay let's try this again uh the seller broke i got in at 25 and then the new seller is there at 50 or at uh, 730 and on this one instead of just cutting it i added at 715 and i added more at seven and then i bailed at uh at seven as it broke that level. So I ended up losing 700 bucks on that trade. Is it catastrophic? No, it's not really a big deal. But that was just enough for me to be like, you know what, I'm done. I'm not fighting it today. False breakouts, you know, leading gappers. We didn't have a lot of action that was really good. Um, So I just decided I didn't want to push it. And let's see, um, I'm just going to pull this up here, my other login. All right. So, Basically, today, our gap scanner, so I'm just loading up the gap scanner here. We had OLB as the leading gapper. We had AHI, second leader, Hill, third leader, B-Way, fourth leader, Drug, fifth. And, you know, aside from OLB, we just didn't have anything good on the gap scanner. And so that made me really nervous about trading anything hitting the high day Momo scanner. High day Momo scanner works well when you have a strong gap scanner because things are hot, stocks popping up, keep going. But when um, the when when the gap scanner is slow and you don't have a lot of strength there, usually what ends up happening on the high day Momo scanner is these pop up and they're not sustained. They roll over, they flush, and you know maybe you'll get a few that end up working, but it's just very hard to predict which ones are going to work and which ones are just going to be nasty so you know this one right now is starting to open up and in a typical market i would be like okay it's holding up here at, you know the high was seven was a 17 417 dips down back to 399 on the bid so that's straddling the whole dollar but you know typically i'd be like okay this could be a first pullback following that breakout for a move up to 450 you've got your sma right there on the daily ema is a little higher so yeah, typically I would say, okay, I'd punch it long here at 418, right? That's the that's the high. And what's gonna happen? We'll just see on this one. So it's 412 on the bid, 419 on the ask. So now I'm in the red on the trade. If I if it breaks four, I'm gonna have to hit the bid. There's 405 on the bid, there's 402, I'm gonna hit the bid, and there's 393. Just like that, I'm knocked out of the trade. Another loss. And that's how quick it happens. And if this thing pops right back up to 418, I'd be pretty frustrated. Now, the reason in a hot market I would have bought there is because that's a micro pullback on a strong stock that just moved up at almost a dollar a share. That is sometimes all you get for the next leg up to 440, 450, 460. But when the market's a little colder, those just do not perform as well. So, um, you know, just be really cautious. 
I'm grateful to have a green day. Uh, there wasn't much to trade today, but I'm a little annoyed that I gave back uh, as much as I did on STBX because that was, I, I, sh I should have seen that coming. It was just, I, I and I was already like, ah, I don't think I want to trade it. But I was like, yeah, whatever. Okay, it's moving, it's moving. Don't hold a bias, it's moving. So if it's moving, that's enough. But then I lost 700 bucks on it. So, you know, it's been um, it's been a little bit of a, uh, a slow day here, but we've got two days left for me in the month of August and small green days are totally okay. So a small green day here on Monday, be nice to do the same on Tuesday and Wednesday and lock up a no red August. I'm pretty close, but i uh, got to keep my head down, stay disciplined, and a no trade day would also be okay if there's nothing that looks great. So that's the month of August. It's been a, a terrific month. In fact, it's been the best month of the year, which uh, is not common. I wasn't really expecting uh, August to be the best month of the year, but it has been. I uh, had a slow January, as you might recall, good in February, March, April, but you know the fact is last year uh, if we go to 2021 um, last year i was doing so much better and i was like averaging 200,000 a month i mean this was like 400 400 slow month of 58 199 193 you know i mean this was like really great so you know what i'm hoping is going into the fall we have you know a really nice stretch where I can throw down some really nice green days and get back up to 250, 300, 400, maybe $500,000 months between October, November, December. Because that fourth quarter is usually when things pick up for me. You could see last year that uh, August and September were slow, April and May were slow. And really where I made the most was January, February, March, October, November, December. And that is totally typical. That is generally when I do the best. First quarter, last quarter. Middle of the year, you know, with summer and stuff like that, usually is slow. So I'm looking forward to the fall. Uh, you know, I've been talking about it for a while, but I'm I'm hoping that we see some really nice action and I can um, lock up a really nice um, a really nice Q4. So, you know, at the end of the day, being consistent is most important and I'm trying to stay consistent, stay green, not over trade, not overstay my welcome. So got a couple of nice trades today and I will live to trade another day. I'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning for the morning show. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you in the morning. I hope you really enjoyed that video and make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Our goal is to hit 1 million subscribers this year, but we won't get there without your help. So please, please, please hit that subscribe button.